Tonight we're going to be showing you how to make a quick and easy, low carb, keto friendly eggnog just in time for the holiday season. All you need is unsweetened almond milk, a dollop of full fat coconut milk, heavy whipping cream, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, five egg yolks, and our favorite sweetener for the keto friendly diet, the erythritol. Erythritol is our favorite keto sweetener. Um, even if you're not on the ketogenic diet, it's great if you're sticking to a low carb diet or just looking to not add as many calories with sweeteners. Um, we've tried pretty much all the keto options and sweeteners and this has been by far our favorite. So the consistency of the erythritol is very similar to a table sugar. It also dissolves really easily into liquids, hot and cold. So um, we really do like using this brand. Erythritol has been kind of difficult for us to find. I looked at several health food stores, Target, Walmart, um, but really the only place I've been able to find it is Amazon, and we've linked to this brand below. So the first thing you're gonna do is add your five egg yolks and your one third cup of erythritol. Then you're going to just whip it. So you're just gonna wanna whip it until you um, really get a light, fluffy consistency and all the sugar is blended. Once you start seeing the ribbons in the actual mixture, you will be good to go. You're going to use half a cup of coconut milk. We use full fat just to give it some extra fat for keto. If you're not on keto, you can just use regular coconut One milk. One thing to note, when you're buying coconut milk, especially for the keto diet, just make sure you read the ingredients on the back. A lot of them have really lousy cellulose fillers, a lot of things that you don't really want to put in your body. This is just straight up organic coconut milk. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is add one cup of unsweetened almond milk. Next, you're going to go ahead and get your boiler started. You're going to just want to go ahead and stir all that nutmeg and cinnamon in. Make sure the almond milk, coconut milk, and heavy cream is blended well. One thing to note, if you're looking to do a dairy-free version of this, you can absolutely substitute the heavy whipping cream with the full fat coconut milk instead. Uh, you would just need to go ahead and um, use one or two and a half cups, sorry, of full fat coconut milk. That would be about two and a half cans. So go ahead and bring this to a boil. Uh, you need to make sure you stir it every so often just to make sure it's nice and mixed. But as soon as it starts to boil, you're going to remove it from the heat. Once it comes to a boil, you're just gonna go ahead and take it off, remove it completely from the heat. It's really important that you remember to remove it from the heat so it doesn't keep getting hotter. Now you're gonna go ahead and slowly, very, very slowly temper the um, mixture, the milk mixtures into your egg and erythritol mixture. Make sure you go very slowly and you have to, have to, have to make sure that you are constantly stirring as you do it so that the eggs do not curdle. This is a super important step in the process. The slower, the better for sure. you about five minutes this will be the hardest most tedious part of the entire process but it is so worth it if you do it slow so you'll just finish up so once you've tempered your egg mixture you're actually going to just go ahead and pour it back into your saucepan smells so good. We're going to go ahead and turn it on low to medium heat. I like to uh, kind of lean more on the low side and you're going to cook it for probably about six minutes or so until it reaches 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you're kind of waiting for that final process for it to reach the 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, you can add one teaspoon of sugar-free vanilla and just kind of stir it in, allow it to really mix in with the flavors. So as it's still continuing to cook, you can spruce it up. I can already tell that I'm gonna like a little more nutmeg, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add a couple more sprinkles. Um, you can even add things coriander, um, you know, extra vanilla. Um, I'm gonna just add some more cinnamon. Something we really like to do is add the exogenous ketones. We've really found that this brand mixes super well, so I would add probably about half a scoop. Um, not necessarily a full scoop. This is already a pretty sweet eggnog with the erythritol. Um, so yeah, this is a great little addition if you're looking for ways to spice it up. Yeah. All right, so we've reached right at 160 degrees. 
So we are ready to move on to the final step. Okay, turn it right. So you're gonna bring it on over. We like to strain ours through a fine mesh strainer. So you'll just pour it on through. Yeah, so we found uh, straining it's pretty good. It's inevitable with any sort of homemade eggnog that you're gonna cook the eggs a little bit. Um, so the strainer really helps make sure that you kind of get rid of all those cooked pieces and are only left with a smooth, creamy, delicious eggnog. If you are getting ready to have a holiday party, you want your house to smell like the holidays, this is the way to do it. I cannot tell you how good our kitchen smells are right now. Final step in tonight's ketogenic, low carb, Homemade eggnog is to add the 3 4 cup of rum. You can add more if you'd like it. Um, we're just trying to kind of keep our calories a little lower right now. Um, so here we go. We use this Bacardi black rum. Something to keep in mind is that any dark rum or plain unspiced rum is actually keto friendly. Uh, you just have to make sure you don't get anything spiced or with added flavors because that's where they kind of surprise you and sneak in the sugar. So now we're just right. gonna put this in the refrigerator, let it chill for a little while. Um, be sure to check out the links for all the products we used today below. Even if you're not planning on making this recipe or others, just be sure to check out all of our other videos. It helps us out, and we hope you have a very happy holiday.